multiple potential benefits of intelligent war machines have already been declared by the military, including, a reduction in friendly casualties, force multiplication, expanding the battle space, extending the soldier's reach, the ability to respond faster given the pressure of an ever-increasing battlefield tempo, and greater precision due to constant video surveillance that enables more time for decision making and more eyes on target. This argues for the inevitability of development and deployment of lethal autonomous systems from a military efficiency and economic standpoint, unless limited by international humanitarian law. Past and present trends in human behavior in the battlefield regarding adhering to legal and ethical requirements are questionable at best. Unfortunately, humanity has a rather dismal record in ethical behavior in the battlefield. Potential explanations for the persistence of war crimes include, high friendly losses leading to a tendency to seek revenge, high turnover in the chain of command leading to weakened leadership, dehumanization of the enemy through the use of derogatory names and epithets, poorly trained or inexperienced troops, no clearly defined enemy, unclear orders, youth and immaturity of troops, external pressure, for example for a need to produce a high body count of the enemy, and pleasure from the power of killing or an overwhelming sense of frustration. There is clearly room for improvement, and autonomous systems may help address some of these problems. Robotics technology, suitably deployed, may assist with the plight of the innocent non-combatant caught on the battlefield. If used without suitable precautions, however, it could potentially exacerbate the already existing violations by human soldiers. While I have the utmost respect for our young men and women soldiers, modern warfare puts them in situations in which no human being was ever designed to function. In such conditions, expecting strict adherence to the laws of war seems unreasonable and unattainable by a significant number of soldiers. Battlefield atrocities have been present since the beginnings of warfare, and despite the growth of international humanitarian law, over the last 150 years or so, these tendencies persist and are well documented, even more so in the days of CNN and the Internet. The dangers of abuse of unmanned robotic systems in war, such as the Predator and Reaper drones, are well documented. They occur even when a human operator is directly in charge. Regulating autonomous weapon systems is a prohibition on their use. So what are the moral questions that arise beyond existing law with regard to permitting autonomous weapon systems to kill human beings? Insofar as we define autonomous weapon systems, as systems capable of selecting targets and directing violent force against them, without meaningful human control, then autonomous weapon systems are significantly different than other weapons. There are weapons in use in which particular objects and people are not consciously targeted by the operator of the weapon, including artillery. However, there is still a human who makes a targeting decision. In giving over the responsibility to make targeting decisions to machines, we fundamentally change the nature of the moral considerations involved in the use of violent force. While it is claimed that a human will write the computer program the autonomous weapon system will follow, there is no way for a programmer to anticipate every situation and circumstance of the use of force, or the moral values and military necessity for the use of force in those future instances. At best such a program might approximate the choices made by humans. To be clear, a programmed system would not be conducting the moral reasoning of human beings, at least for the foreseeable future. Moral reasoning requires an ability to view a situation from multiple and conflicting perspectives, weigh incomparable values against each other, including the significance and value of human life, and to choose a course of action that one can take responsibility for. While moral reasoning is a challenge for humans, and they often fall short, it is impossible for algorithms, 